were working out of the space for long enough to plan a bona fide season two. And then we would take on kind of a reno. I know it's higher. I've raised a mama's boy. Uh, <laughs> have a good day. Yeah, you too. Very Merry Christmas. We'll have this year. Very Merry Christmas. Good morning, YouTube. How's it going? It's not raining, which is amazing because I think the forecast had it scheduled to rain. I am tiptoeing my way over to our show home at McCleary and McGee. I'm involved with a charity event called Home for the Holidays, which is really exciting. And Homes for the Holidays is an event that happens in Vancouver over on the west side. A few homes participate and we decorate the homes for the holidays. There's a big tour where the public can come and see the homes. I think it happens all day Saturday, all day Sunday. And so this morning, filming a global TV segment to promote Homes for the Holidays. This is just K-A-R-E-N. I-N. I, there we go. Yeah. So that's why I asked. Yeah. <laughs> and then Bon, B-O-H-N. B-O-H-N. <clears throat> okay. And designer is... Designer, yeah. You know what I'm going to ask you? I'm going to ask you about your design stuff. Yeah. Which you know. Yeah. You don't need to practice okay. that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> you got that one. Yeah. I keep thinking this is live, but it's not live. It's not live. No. I have to tell myself it's live because I'm better live. But are you going to do this all at once? Yeah, we'll do it all yeah. at once because, okay. like, because we only have one day to edit. White balance? Also, is yeah. that what that is? Yeah. Oh, also, tricks different. of the trade. I like it. Let's get a little bit of <clears throat> there. Okay. okay. Yeah, and it, we, it's, I know. Sometimes it it's feels a little uncomfortable. Totally, but, then, but it looks great. Yeah. yeah. This morning on Open House, we're talking about homes for the holidays for kids help phone. It's where six homes are open in Vancouver and West Vancouver for you to get some design inspiration. And here with me, one of the designers who decorated one of those homes, Karen Bond. What have you done in this beautiful place? Yeah, well, I'm so excited to be part of Kids Help Phone and for Homes for the Holidays because this is such a great cause. And I just want to mention that we have reached over a million dollars um, for this event. So this is this is great. And uh, I'm very excited to be featuring this home because we just recently completed the design for this home. So it's a traditional home in South Vancouver. Um, it's got really big moldings. And we really wanted the design to of the decor, the holiday decor, to reflect the interior design of the home. So we pulled warm gold tones in the holiday decor and we also have splashes of blue throughout the house. So we've also incorporated a lot of blue in the holiday decor and I love using non-traditional colors like blue when it comes to holiday decor and I think that it, when you have a big space like this home and you've got so many big architectural details, one of the tips that I would have is to go big with the holiday decor, but also less is more. So, and what I mean by that is using big garlands on the fireplace, for example, as a, a big statement piece, big wreaths, lots of greenery, and uh, without overly cluttering the home because you really want the home, de the decor, the holiday decor to really breathe and speak for itself. So that's what you'll see if you're heading out to, again, Homes for the Holidays runs this weekend, today and tomorrow. You can still get your tickets online at Homes for the Holidays, Vancouver. Caitlin Herbst, Open House. Whoa, wow. that was one take. Yeah, that see? Was... High five, that's sister. That's what I say. It's live. There you go.
So the purpose for today is to make sure that we have a really clear design direction and a really clear feeling for Homeland. Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure that we're aligned on the big picture. Mm -hmm. And then that way, once we are aligned, if we need to swap out some of the finishes because of budget, mm -hmm. then it becomes very easy to do that. Mm -hmm. We can get something similar, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but we know that you like it. Instead of talking about, well, are we going to use tile or maybe we should use wood or maybe we should use, you know, mm -hmm. it makes the decisions later easier okay. if we have to scale down because sure. of budget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Does that sound sure. accurate? Yes. No. Okay. busy promoting the business, promoting House of Bond, promoting our clients. Hi, Karen. Hi, Christy. I'm just in Chinatown here. I'm going to run a quick errand and then I'll be at the office. So I'll see you shortly. Okay. Okay. See you soon. A nickname for you. Oh God. D roll. It's like B roll, but it's D. It's Diane. Should we ask the audience if we should call start calling you D roll? You Comment you guys below. The woman behind the camera, Miss Diane. I think D roll should be her new nickname. D roll, can you get some B roll? <laughs> What's that big smile for, Christy? From Ulta? Are you ready? I'm ready. She knows we're gonna jump into a design meeting. We're gonna, we're gonna beat this fireplace detail, right? right. Once and for all. This is why I think it works. Okay. Christy always has to get her point across. No, 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 I, I like know, it. No. I just wanna know your determination. Yeah, she is. She's also tenacious. Okay, I'm listening. Walk so, me through what you think. Okay, so what I'm right now, if you and look, just a little caveat, these construction details are not easy. Fireplace, it's almost the other way around. You need to figure out Back. the clearances yes. first yes. and then what what your minimum look can be and then you can build on that. Yes, that one was tricky. Yeah. We did it backwards. We yeah. Wanted, we, see, I think our thinking was the finished dimension. Yes. And then we were working out the behind, the, the after. Wall yes. dimensions. Yes. And now it's like... It had to be the other way around. Yes. Those are her options. She can have it five and three quarters on either side, almost six inches, and the fireplace stays in the same spot. Or we can reduce it down to four and three quarters on both sides, but the fireplace has to come forward. Christy, what's the biggest thing that you've learned working on Kim's place? Um, triple checking everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. It's easy to miss all those little construction details. Well, yes, if you're not asking the right questions. Yeah. And diagrams. I guess sketching it out helps a lot more. It does, right? Mm -hmm. You get to meet yes. the team. Yeah, we had a little Kelsey, Diane, Christy. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. And then Karina will be here soon. Thanks for coming. Yeah, 
I missed it. Really? Okay, I thought that this was a good opportunity because it's official that we have to be out okay. by the end of January. I guess that's two months to figure this out. So the landlord's office is right next to ours. Mm -hmm. And the piece that we have used to be his office when I moved in like five years ago. He wants to take over our existing space. The way I think that I would want to approach uh, an office move is have the landlord just finish the space so it's move in ready. We kind of bring some desks over, like plug our computers in and we're working out of the space for long enough to plan a bona fide season two. And then we would take on kind of a reno. The kitchen built out as part of the series. So we wouldn't move in with this like perfect office. It would be clean and there would be light and we'd have shelves and we'd have meeting tables and stuff like that. It would look like a startup. Like we'd be plugged in <laughs> until we were able to organize the series. Because there's also not enough time. There's no way we'd be able to plan it and build it out and then move. We were just saying that our two options right now are to take half the space. Mm -hmm. And if it's half the space, they would actually chop it up in an L. Right. So you could take the, this front with the two square windows yeah. and then this back up to the column. Right. Or you could take all of that back and have the front with the arches. What do you think? I love the arches. I love the windows, but this is so much light. It's so much light. I almost prefer this. I know, me too. That's what I said. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. I would rather have more, more light. light. Or I did ask them if they would be willing to lease two thirds and basically build a wall where these columns are. And then we would get all of this with the arches. Four and a half times what we have right now. It's a lot of space. I am going to end this day in the life here, but I'm just happy to share what's going on with you at work. You guys get to see a lot of changes that are happening in the bond camp. It's exciting. It's all exciting changes. I've got to make an office move soon. You guys have been following that. And I don't know if this is the space, but I definitely feel like I'm getting closer and closer to finding the right space. That's for sure. Um, yeah, I just think it's cool that you're along with me for this journey. You're watching the whole business grow and unfold and develop. And uh, I think it's kind of cool. So I'm going to sign off here. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Love you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. My little bench, my window seat got installed today in my kitchen and it looks super cute and adorable. Finishing touches are going in my kitchen and we are planning on filming uh, the reveal episode in about a couple weeks. That's it. That's it.